about how you pick this up. And now the OCD comes in because you're not straight. And it's gonna piss me off. I don't know what it's about though. One second. Named Annalise Berry. Bradley. Aristocrats. Why do I keep saying aristocrats? Roman history. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the book colors tag. It was created by Books with Dylan. I wasn't tagged by anybody. But as always, I always do the tags I'm not tagged in. I don't have a reason for this, I just do. There's nine instructions that you're supposed to follow for this tag, so without further ado, let us get started! The first thing you're supposed to do is pick a color, and I am picking pink. I bet you thought I was going to pick purple, but I actually don't own that many purple books. I have like five of them. So. The second instruction is to show all the books of that color. I made a pile, they're falling. But these are all my pink books. I'm not going to go through them all because just read the spines. Okay? Okay, thanks. I have a total of 12 pink books. And they are getting heavy, so I'm going to put them down now. Three is to separate them into red and unread piles. Red. And this is unread. That's how we'll do it. I think there's probably going to be more unread than there is red, because that's how my life works. Those are my piles. This is my red. There's five books. And then this is my unread, and there's seven books. Five plus seven is twelve. I hope. Nope, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Math. Genius. Thank you. And the fourth instruction is to pick out what book you want to read the most. So, let us see. I'm going to go with The Sister of Versailles. I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying that properly. This is by Sally Christie, and it follows King Louis, who is getting tired of his wife. All the women of the town figure this out and decide that they're going to try to be the next mistress of the king, and this follows three sisters who are all trying to win his affection. It's a historical fiction set in the French court in the early 18th century, and it just sounds really interesting. So this is the book that is pink that I want to read the most out of my options. The fifth instruction is to pick my favorite book, so we're going over to my red pile. My favorite book out of my red pile is between two of them, The Mercy List by Daniel Vega, but I picked Anna and The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I love this book. I found it to be so funny and such an easy read. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I have a review. Card, card. Woot, woot. Like always. If you haven't read this already, definitely pick it up. It's a super cute romancy novel. Next, I'm supposed to pick my favorite book cover, so one moment please while I inspect. The book I'm going with is Kiss of Death by Lauren Henderson. All of my covers for pink aren't that cool. I would have picked Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, but I just picked that. But pair it. I'm going with this one. I think it's super pretty. I mean, it's kind of, like, boring, but I like the roses in her hair, and I think she's dead. I haven't read this book, so I wouldn't know, but I think she's dead. It's the most interesting one out of all the options, because all of them are kind of ugly, so. Seven is to pick my least favorite cover, and that is very easy. I'm going with If We Kiss by Rachel Vale. I think it's a stupid cover. I'm I mean, the story is about, like, middle schoolers, but... Make it more interesting, girl. Come on. Eight is a book you want to buy that is this color. I'm going with Identity Crisis by Melissa Score. It is really hard to find a pink book. I, like, search Goodreads for, like, 15 minutes just trying to find one pink book. It's about this girl named Annalise Bradley who has this kind of scandalous hookup in her freshman year. It angers all the girls in her class and they decide that they are going to catfish her and create this online profile of the perfect boy to toy with her emotions. One of the girls, Noelle, is very shy and she decides to go along with the plan only because her longtime crush is kind of crushing on Annalise, so she's not too happy about that, so she wants to distract Annalise so that she can not focus on her crush. Annalise discovers what the girls are doing, and she begins to seek revenge, and Noelle starts to regret her role in what they were doing, and she tries to salvage the friendship. It's your typical YA kind of thing. I don't know if it would be any good, but it's the only pink book I can find on Goodreads right now, so... <sighs> The only thing that really makes me want to read the book is that it's in alternating perspectives, and I really like that in books, so... I probably will never pick the book up for real, but that's my pink book I want to buy. Kind of, not really, but shh. And the final instruction is to take the things that are that color off your bookshelf and show them. I have five things on my bookshelf that are pink other than books. I have my Marie Bow from the Aristocats. I loved that movie. It was so cute. My brother got this for me for Christmas and I just think it's so cute. He has little ears and he's a little kitty. Yeah. I also have this watermelon lemonade candle from Bath and Body Works. It smells delicious. So good. I love candles. If you know me, I always have one burning. There's one burning right there. 
Do you expect you can't have them in your dorm room? Like, why? I understand there's a fire hazard, but like, why? Because I need my candles. Okay? Okay. The next thing I have is my Nana's little pig. Every time I would go over to her house, I would get this pig and I would have it with me at all times. I absolutely love him. It reminds me of her and I miss her very much, but his name is Piggy. The next thing is the body spray I wear every day. It's Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works. I am obsessed with it. It smells delicious. The final thing is this mug that me and my mother made with nail polish. You like put it in hot water and then you like dip the mug in and it makes a splattery thing. It was a fun thing, but we're really bad at it. Alright guys, so that was the color book tag. I love the tag because you can do it like a million times and the answers are always different, which is awesome. I'll leave who I'm tagging down below. I know this is a super old tag, but it's fun to do, so you should do it. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! All these covers suck. Well, that was terrible. Or an elf. I was going to say Hell Sanderson, but that's speak. I don't know who it's by.